Sin cara! Sin cara! Sin cara! Don't you just hate it when you can't find milk? You want to make yourself a coffee? Well, that's just what happened to me. And all right, guys, Tom here, and I made myself, I made myself a coffee, and I thought I might as well sit down and do a nice, entertaining WWE video. As it's something that's pretty important in the WWE universe at the moment. Now, on the 18th of December, um, recorded two days after TLC 2012, which of course, if you word that out, was re um, was on the 16th of December 2012. We had Damian Sandow versus Sin Cara. Now, TLC, like I said, was on the 16th of December, and Sin Cara, on that SmackDown, was attacked after realising the Shield had, in fact, attacked his mentor, in brackets, Rey Mysterio. Later, on WWE.com, after the event, Sin Cara had apparently suffered a serious knee injury thanks to the Shield attacking him on that SmackDown. So, no nature or timeline was given, um, from this injury, so WWE really aren't really releasing a lot about Sin Cara's injury at the moment. But Sin Cara later on that Saturday after the event at SmackDown, Sin Cara said on Twitter, uh, "It's popped up on the screen now. Thanks for all your support on my road to the hospital for a mini surgery. See you later on the Saturday." I don't actually know why he's put a, a comma on after the R, but whatever. Obviously, the injury was not caused by the Shield, the, because the Shield had no reason whatsoever to attack. Sin Cara on that Smackdown. They have no associations with him at all and it seems Sin Cara has be been dealing with this for a while. Like CM Punk, the injury was written into a storyline instead of just making him disappear off the face of the earth and just come back after six months last la like last time he got an injury on the knee. The impact of the injury is unknown however so we have no idea whatsoever whether it's serious or it's just temporary. Because he could be out for two weeks, he could be back on the seventh, uh, on the um, the eighth of January taping of SmackDown. He could be back close to WrestleMania. We have no idea. So the causes are also unknown. But at TLC, we do know he was put out on. Uh, it was put through a table, flat out on a table. It was a great ending to the match, but he was put through a table, and then he faced Cody Rhodes and Damian Sander on Raw and SmackDown, respectively. So he's had a really, really busy schedule the last few weeks and this year, basically, in the WWE. So he's really been stressed out, and he's been in so many matches. He, he must be ready for a break, to be honest. So leading to suggest that it is something that he's been dealing with or been having trouble with over the f for the past few months, but not huge affecting him in, him in the ring because he's been in the ring like nearly every single event which is pretty good for somebody that needs to travel all over America week in week out and it doesn't really look like it's been hugely affecting him in the ring but something that's been happening to him on and off since he joined the WWE shown that it may be short term but it is his second knee injury since he joined WWE back in 2011 early 2011 but Rey Mysterio is not injured a lot of people are thinking he is injured because he was attacked by the shield before Sin Cara's match. They didn't show that he was how he got attacked or anything like that, but it was re reported on WWE.com a few days later that he got a, knee a neck injury, but simply used it simply used as a break for the high flying tag teams where Sin Cara has highly benefited with Ray's presence in ring. So they're basically putting these two tag teams on hold, and they're not going to go with Ray on his own in singles match competition while Sin Cara is out with a knee injury. So they're simply using Ray's excuse as a neck injury, but he has no injury whatsoever. So he is capable of appearing in ring at the moment where well, they're keeping him back for the tag team matches. Leading it up to TLC, Ray and Sin Cara were however not seen for two weeks on WWE TV prior to the event which suggests the tag team may end when they both return because simply you can't put book them for a TLC match without having anything around them for the, la for the two weeks leading up to the PPV. It's like they've kind of lost interest in using the tag team whether they haven't got as many sales for merch or something like that but it's really not happening for WWE at the moment and does suggest that they might not be going for them for the, in the long run. So we are kind of interested in getting a few between these two leading up to WrestleMania 29 because it apparently within the WWE they are planning on having this feud and it will be interesting to see if they go for it for WrestleMania 29. So it will be kind of a perfect end to the tag team and kind of make them come back in singles competition and kind of make them drift away and maybe even start a feud which we might get the WrestleMania match which, we, which we've been promised by the WWE. However their absences make way for tag teams like the Usos, Team Cobra, Zack Ryder and uh, Santino Right, I mean there, and the team of Justin Gabriel, Gabriel and Tyson Kidd. These are um, 
international air or something whatever they're called these all have an opportunity a big opportunity to make an impact but apparently Sin Cara's injury is not greatly affecting his in-ring performance and he will be back shortly maybe possibly on the first Smackdown back after the new year so hopefully you've enjoyed this video thanks for watching and goodbye